Hey Capricorns, welcome to your reading. If you're new, welcome. Please remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get all the messages I post each month. And to my lovely loyal subscribers, welcome back. I'll leave information regarding how to contact me for personal readings in the description box, guys. So go ahead and check that out there. I never leave it as a telephone number in the comments, just as a reminder. Okay, let's see what we have for Capricorn. All the other readings are out, so you can go ahead and check them out on the channel. Five of Swords, Three of Swords and the Hermit. Okay, walking away from dishonest associates, realizing what you thought you wanted isn't the best choice for your happiness, something that's not worth the effort. Okay, um, this, is, this is harsh energy. Um, reach out to others for comfort and love. You will grow stronger from this situation, sadness that will heal with time. Broken hearted um, over painful words, somebody, you know, choosing to win i guess with the five of swords so it's choosing to rather than admit you're wrong that you know they won't communicate and say that i'm wrong and i want to work things out they would rather walk away and look like the victor they would rather appear to be intact and keep their ego intact all this sword energy is ego so they're doing everything they can, even it's painful with the Three of Swords to put on this act, this show, all the time. It's like refusing to go into hermit mode, refusing to do the soul searching, refusing to take accountability for the hurt and the words that they say to other people might have some sort of effect on them, right? Um. So... There's arguments, of course, here, and I guess words are like weapons, right? They cut deep, and it could be Capricorn that you are still reliving these words or thinking about these words that hurt you and the actions they took that hurt you, them refusing to even grow up and mature, this hurting you, refusing to communicate properly because... Poor communication will break the best of relationships, you know, no matter how much you love them, because the heart is involved here. It is with the Three of Swords. If your heart wasn't invested or their heart wasn't invested, it wouldn't hurt so much, right? So it becomes a lose-lose situation when somebody refuses to see any error in their way and would just rather walk away. It could be something that's overcome if both of you do the spiritual work, but, you know, they refuse to, I guess, walk away. And it's like um, you go into hermit mode. You need to take a break from all the rest of the commitments you have in your life. You need to find or eventually you will become a spiritual mentor as well here um, with this hermit card. So let's have a look with the tarot cards. I feel like they would rather suffer in silence than admit any sort of defeat. They're seeing it as a defeat if they, you know, was open, honest about their feelings about being hurt. Um, which is quite sad because, you know, you'll all end up with scars here. Oops. <laughs> the bottom of the deck, the old bottom of the deck it will be secrets came out and we see that five of swords again so after these secrets came out and somebody had to seek this information um because of their intuition told them something's going on this person might have even just ghosted rather than told the truth they felt like i can't convince you of anything else or if it's somebody if you're dealing with somebody with truth uh, trust issues then they might have been accusing you of something you didn't do and then you felt like you know i can't convince this person cross watchers the message is always for the watcher here um so if you've come on to see you know what's the message you can go either way in a general reading okay take what resonates leave what doesn't knight of pentacles the sun the emperor 
and the justice. So there's that ego with the emperor that we can see. It's like um, they see clearly and they feel clearly. Um, but the, you know, in order for them to come towards you, it would they feel like I would get my karma and I would be hurt back. So this person is taking a long time to come towards you here. They, the Knight of Pentacles is very slow energy. Um, even this person might be scared of commitments. So if this is somebody new you meet and they're in and out of your life and you know non-committal, they're scared of commitment here. It's going to take them a long time to move towards you. But it, the, it's like with the sun and we saw the moon at the bottom. Everything that was done in the dark has come to the light. So you found out all the information. Your intuition told you and then you was guided to the information. Their ego, um, it's like their karma caught up with them. And they are feeling this pain and they are feeling this loss with the five of swords there. Okay, fives are about lack and it's really sharp energy here. Um, where you are trying to heal, they are trying to avoid. Yep, four of swords, that's that healing, three of cups and the hermit again. In order for this relationship to come together, like I said, it can be if that's what both of you want right because where there's a will there's a way and I think it's also quite painful to know where there's a will there's a way because you're like if they wanted me they'd come towards me actually their own ego is getting in their way they're getting in their own way they can't forget you here they're having quite restless nights you're on the mind a lot with um this sword energy and they are thinking about this Three of Cups or either a third party situation um, that happened here. The thing is, they it takes both going into hermit mode in order to have this good news celebration and union. Um, and it's going to take a lot of healing with the sun, a lot of honest conversations, a lot of... Um, and this is where I said, you know, the worst communication can break even a loving relationship. Could have been some misunderstanding about a third party and stuff, but they just felt it easier to ghost and now they're taking their time coming back to you. Um, if And that's even if you do want them back, right? Because eventually you both will be forced into hermit mode. And then we see that healing can happen only then can healing happen they're getting tired though of fighting it uh, fighting their own ego because like I said it's them in their own way and this five of swords is that resistant energy um, it's also mercury energy so it's like they want to communicate mercury is the planet of communication uh, the three is related to the third house Gemini also about communication so painful communication and arguments here um, Maybe even some of them took a long time to come back and then returned when Mercury went retrograde in Gemini season. Um, moving very slowly and maybe even not gave you the answers or the clarity that you wanted at that time. But we reap what we saw here with the justice. So what you put out, you'll get back. Right? So in this time... If you start to work on yourself, you're going to start to see progress and forward movement. If you go into the dark night of the soul and do the shadow work, like I said, maybe with the spiritual community or a spiritual mentor here, um, this is like socializing, needing people around you to support you at this time, especially if this is just happening, this heartbreak. Because this path, is not only slow, it's very long with the Knight of Pentacles there. Um, so I see with this Four of Swords, you could be not knowing whether this relationship is over or how they feel about you because they refuse to communicate. So you are looking for answers elsewhere in signs and Asking for divine intervention here, I feel. Asking for signs. Um, the Empress. Two of Wands. So this is the divine answering your, I guess, call, prayer. Um, saying, you know, don't look back in anger. 
okay? Don't look back angry at anything that you've been through because all of that shaped you in, into who you are today. And who you are today or who you are becoming is this empress where you're able then to manifest anything you want to, towards you. You will not be chasing. You're learning these spiritual lessons for a reason. So this is great progress being made on your journey, but maybe still having some way to go. Maybe you're at a crossroads yourself here with the two of wands and not knowing where to go now. And that could be why you need that spiritual help there. The devil. This attachment to each other is almost like I can't, you can't forget each other. You're still tied to each other in some sort of way. It's because of this lesson, this heartbreak, this spiritual catalyst that was brought with this spiritual connection, this soulmate connection here. So you are still very much tied to each other. You can't forget each other. Like, um, I guess the healing is very slow as well. One of you could be codependent here thinking that um, I'm not going to be happy without that person. I'm not going to be happy until I'm in another relationship. So if this is your soulmate who is, you know, going from relationship to relationship to try and find what you gave to them they won't find it it's this devil energy they could have even been led away by temptation with the devil card um but quickly found you know what happens when you bite the apple in the tree of eden you're quickly expelled out of heaven so this person is searching for what you gave them maybe in other people But they're being asked here and pushed by the divine to break this ego, go into hermit mode and find what it really is you seek in life here. And you won't find it at the bottom of a glass. Um, if there's any sort of addictions going on, they won't find the answers in any addictions. And nor will you, Capricorn, right? Um, if, you know, that three of cups is drinking, so I'm just saying that. Um, but it could be many things. People have many addictions. Okay, this person could be addicted to... Mm -hmm, seen it, so I have to say it. Reconciliation after this separation here. So although this time apart on the horizon, there is somebody returning to your life. Healing family issues. I posted a video for those who have family issues that may want to watch it because they don't realise that it is actually connected with romantic um, experiences in our life, right? Where do we learn to love? Where do we learn how to give and receive love? It starts with family. It starts at home and self. Your love life will benefit as you forgive your parents. Chemistry, there's a strong magnetic attraction here. So somebody is being pulled back from your past. Free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life here. And engagement, your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment, Capricorn. So I do feel there is this strong pull with the devil and the chemistry card that you can't forget each other or something. This person's ego will not let them say sorry at this point. So this is why they're so slow coming forward um, because they're, sl they're taking a long time to break down, to break their ego down, right? Ego is like a survival mechanism that humans like developed. So this is why, you know, it is important in some places, but here in order for healing to occur, this ego needs to be broken down. And then it can be built back up in a healthy way where it's self-respect and self-love. And then they have respect and love to give. Take it how it resonates. It might be you, right? That's going through the downfall of the ego. When we're accountable, we can see where we're at to know where we're going and what we want for our future. Then at this crossroads um, that we see in the two of wands, we can choose which way to go. We're going to free ourselves and let our love life ascend. Or are we going to be uh, focusing on healing and um, this pull to this person? Good luck, Capricorn.